so far the trend points to no right now. Yeah. As well, in my opinion, Titan are one of the strongest Inferno sides. Let's bear in mind that a few weeks ago, not a few weeks ago, a few days ago, Titan beat TSM, who mm -hmm. are in such great form at the moment, on Inferno. That just emphasizes how strong of an, of an Inferno team Titan are. And if Immunity can't capitalize and win Mirage, I just don't don't see him winning or getting anything on Inferno. Yeah, well, I mean, Mirage, Titan have always, like, historically, this has been a strong map for Titan, especially once Kenny joined up. Then, you know, they, they touched on that as well at the desk, basically. Kenny able to lock down mid. In my opinion, I think it's going to be a stronger play on the extremities for Titan, where Maniac gets to shine, where Apex gets to shine, and RPK just kind of sits there like this immovable boulder that you just <laughs> get smacked by every time you walk onto a site. He's so consistent getting the frags. So... I think it's going to come down a lot more to those three players as it stands right now because we have yet to really see the Kenny of old come back into the game. But who knows? New tournament, first match for these guys, and we'll get to see what kind of shape they're in here. Fingers crossed for King Kenny. And we'll see whether he's able to get his hands on the AWP. It's going to be a push straight towards a B-bomb site. Maniac with that USP kill, but the Aussies are... Hot on their heels, Maniac with the headshot onto Intel, Kenny S all eyes onto Ostello, the new recruit of course, to replace the outgoing Yam, but Titan in a 2 versus 1, and Sniper comes in with the headshot, and now it's a 1 versus 1 between him and Apex, but the bomb is at Apex's feet here. Now we get to see kind of Sniper. Sniper is the in-game leader as well for immunity, so it's impressive already that he managed to pick up the two kills like that. I mean, you know, you're pretty good to be the in-game leader. You just feed your team in there, you know, sets up for you to get the right angles, you know, for you to shine. No, not serious. <laughs> Sniper did not just feed his entire team in, but he is still in a position right now. Full HP. Problem is he only has that P250. He doesn't have Kevlar, so he's going to be vul he's going to be vulnerable to the aim punch that Apex, however, is not going to suffer from. He's got the Kevlar, and he's found himself a kit as well. And Apex could very well be setting up right now for a pure bait situation where he's just going to crouch behind the vent, let Sniper pick up that bomb, and allow Sniper perhaps to get a little bit comfortable on this site, go for that bomb plant, and get the retake from there. Yeah, exactly. Sniper, only 15 seconds left on the clock. He had to go for the plant, but well, ballsy play there from Apex, but we know how good of a player he is. And there was the headshot, so pissed around goes to Titan. Yeah, just... I think I, I, think I, I picked up on a slight hint of YOLO there from <laughs> Titan, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, they were they were going really aggressive there, especially up on Van. I mean, Kenny Maniac, Maniac also just willing to face while reloading. Uh, you know, there's, there's maybe just a little bit of a lack of respect there on Titan's part. But this has come back to bite them in the past. So I hope that it's not going to stick around. I hope that they kind of tighten up their game now that they've gotten the measure of their opponents in the first pistol round. But Maniac just right now just standing his ground. I mean, up in B apartments, he's doing everything that he needs to. Quad kill so far. And he's still got 75 HP. The bomb is at his feet. This is definitely looking like a Titan round. Yeah, like you said, you mentioned it earlier on, Samler, that Titan do sort of... Oh, RPK, really? You take the <laughs> ace away it. from Maniac? That Titan do sort of have a knack of uh, getting complacent from time to time. And uh, they're going to have to make sure they iron out all that complacency. Like you said, they went into a bit of a full YOLO mode. It didn't come to bite them in the backside. And they're the team with the weapons now up against Immunity, who are pretty much naked here. Just a few P250s and the Rec9 in the hands of James. Yeah, and Existence already putting the shots out there. Kenny S, he's got his scout. And versus uh, Kevlarless uh, targets, it's going to wreak havoc. He's going to get caught over there. It is a nice call. Well, a nice shot there by Imagine, basically, to take out Kenny S. So two kills coming in on that near hard eco there for Immunity. So not too shabby on their part. It's going to force Titan to spend some money in this round. Just coming back, though. I mean, if I was Maniac, I think I would have reason to be legitimately, legitimately pissed at RPK. If, if RPK comes in there and actually takes away an ace like that, I'd just be like, RPK, bro. I mean, <laughs> you're not going to actually like try and slap RPK because he's like three times, like he's three times bigger than you are. But still, like, you might be a little miffed with him. Well, back in Source, he used to swag around with the name RPK Tank, and there's right. a reason why he used to do that. <laughs> But this is some sick Kenny S play. This is like trademark Kenny as well. Straight through window, onto short, boasts himself up there. The only guy who does this sometimes is JW, but this is sick. It looks like Immunity have an idea of this, though. They're putting some HEs up the top cat right now. They want to make sure that they, if there is some information gathering, an opera perhaps lurking around there trying to get a shot in, he's going to suffer for it. So we see that. Kenny down to 13 HP already at the beginning of the round, and he hasn't even seen anybody yet. Yeah, that smoke coming out by Imagine. He could do a happy and push through it. Oh. That could be a sign that Immunity are going to be heading towards short, but no, Existence has other ideas. Headshot with the FAMAS. James is incredibly low here. RPK comes in from the window room, looks for the double, definitely gets it, and the Aussies now in a four versus two. And they're going to be able to set up for B-side if they like. Only problem is there's already the full rotation out there from Titan. They've got two guys holding solid there. 
And it looks like it's Kenny S who scoped up at bench, so he's going to have a long line onto short, perfect for the AWP. Bit scary of a position. It can be like pre-fired, basically, if they're on point, Team Immunity, but doesn't look like Team Immunity with 30 seconds left or forcing anything. They aren't going to try and run into the B site. It looks like they're trying to shift the, shift gears here and head over to the A site instead. Ricky, however, gets swapped. He still gets the headshot onto existence. Key frag, but now they need to find out where Apex is lurking, and he's just holding in pit. He picks up the first man as he crosses into the open, and I think he spotted the second man as well. He stops him from getting onto that bomb site, so there will be no plant, and that is another very solid round for Titan. Yeah, great position from Apex. He thought to himself, look, I'm going to fall back, going to play the bomb site passive. They're running out of time. They're going to have to push this bomb site eventually. So I'll hold the angle and make sure they don't spot me and I spot them first. And it worked brilliantly for him. And Team Immunity, that's how the economy works in CS. They're now forced back onto pistols. But again, we know how strong the Tech Nines are, so we yeah. can never rule them out. And in a smoke round like this as well, they don't go for any uh, flashes, so it really is going to be straight up run and gun, no fear, full YOLO onto this A site. We got all the smokes going out. You can see perfectly cutting up, trying to set it up. Existence, however, has not been smoked out, so he's going to be the point man here. Tech 9's P250s, and look at this. All of these smokes and a single Molotov is all Titan needs to stop immunity from running up there, because without Kevlar, that Molotov would deal far too much damage. They're still able to find headshots somehow. Somehow, What is this? Ricky and James come in, actually making this a bit of a costly situation here for Titan. And the final shot goes in. Kenny manages to pick off Imagine. Not a lot uh, Not a lot that Imagine can do there in that situation. Little, Perhaps a little sloppy there from Titan, giving up two frags when they did seem like they had quite a bit of control on that situation there. But with, look at that. I mean, the single Molotov into T-Pit and Immunity are just stuck there. They can't even actually just run through without just taking massive amounts of damage. I was really surprised that Immunity, out of all the places, as soon as you run up ramp or run out of pit, the first place of uh, contact that you run into is that potential CT player on top of the steps. And they didn't smoke steps, and they paid the price. And sometimes in a situation like that, it's not unusual to see teams keep an extra smoke to put out the Molotov. But Apex, so aggressive here at mid. But Ostillo, the new recruit, will make him pay the price. Existence with the auto sniper failing to get a frag. And now, Titan are two men down. And Maniac is the last line of defense here on the B bomb site. But he might be able to catch immunity at mid. Oh yeah, an RPK could hit this timing perfectly. No, he doesn't get it, and that's going to be Sniper picking up the headshot on him. RPK trying to push into pit, trying to catch somebody off guard on immunity side. The pinch of luck, he cry, you know, he's thinking maybe I can catch the bomb out, maybe we can try and turn this our way. Instead, he gets slapped down, and that leaves Existence and Maniac alone. Existence unscopes as they come around the corner as well. You couldn't ask for worse timing. And now Maniac is all by his lonesome 1v5. Bomb is going to get planted on that B site, and this has gone from... An attempted power play to a catastrophe for Titan. A perfect round for Immunity. But it's clear that Immunity, they've done their homework. As they sit at top mid right there and Sniper, I mean, that wasn't Sniper though. That was a Stillo, you're right, who just kind of steps up and he just single-handedly shuts down Titan, mid, Titan's mid-control play. Where they put Apex all the way up at top like that. They have a man holding a connector as well. But Stillo wasn't having any of it. He just, he just shut them down immediately. Yeah, and again, like you said, they've done their homework so they know that Titan sort of have a liability to get a little bit complacent, go a little bit too aggressive, and they were prepared for what Apex had in the bag, and Ostillo dealt with it with ease. And Titan now, we can already see how they've changed this setup. They know that if they lose this round, money's gonna be tight because of how expensive the CT side is. So they're gonna play this one a lot more passive, but it's not gonna matter. RPK and Existence both with headshots onto mid through the smoke, Immunity falling like flies, but Let's see whether James can make up for it. Unfortunately, the answer is no. And Maniac picking off that man, Rika. I mean, luckily for Immunity, they saved everybody basically after that last round. So they may not be flat broke, but their economy is certainly going to take a blow after this round here. Unless we can have Sniper try and pull off something magical, but it's just not meant to be. Perfect round for Titan. Right back at Immunity. They don't let Immunity get confident. They don't let them start feeling good about themselves. They just stomp them right back into the ground. So there we have it. You know, the impact that uh, Immunity had, you know, with that perfect round before, they can go for another full buy. So it's not just easy work here for Titan where they get reset hard and have to go back to pistols or anything of the sort. Immunity now actually have another follow-up chance here, so we'll see if they try and change things up. Quite a lot of nades on Immunity here. Quickly taking control of mid. And it's good that Ricky managed to return it, but Kenny S comes in and still leaves the advantage with the team from France. And that AWP has been lost for Immunity. They're going to be incredibly low economically if they lose this round. But the good news is that they still have control of the bomb. Yeah, they do. And they have control of mid somewhat. RPK 
playing in ladder room right now could potentially find the angle on Ustillo. So Ustillo is trying to keep an eye on that position. However, he knows that RPK, or at least they've learned now that RPK tends to favor up there, being up there. So we'll see. Kenny S, he has to be careful. This lur this lurk could work out perfectly here for Ustillo, but Kenny S is going to back off just in time. He's going to rescope up onto Palace, and now he's got the help of RPK here as well. So the RPK with the rifle, we'll see. Does he get caught? Yes, he does. Headshot onto him. And that brings it now to two surviving members for Titan. One of them, though, being Kenny. And he does manage to make it into CT spawn just as the push begins onto this A site. He spots the man and gets the shot onto Sniper. Yeah, Kenny, miss, uh, Kenny doesn't miss shots like that. But Team Immunity are on the bomb site, And if they do start planting, they will hear it. But Maniac is going to be making his way from Connector. And by the looks of things, I'm not sure what the Team Immunity have any idea. They definitely know he's there now. He's definitely been spotted. It's Maniac in a two versus one. He knows he imagines at Firebox. And he does have a few flashes and smokes to try and perhaps cut it off. And there is a smoke. He knows that one of the T's potentially went to CT spawn. He's cut this off to try and make this two versus one a one versus one. But Ustillo just climbing above that smoke. Maniac's going to need more than that to shut him down. And there we have it, Team Immunity with more to smile about. Their second round on the board. Mm -hmm. And that's that's really odd. Maniac had no idea where he was getting shot from as well. You could see him. He thought that perhaps the man was holding sandwich T pit. You could see him just trying to scan around. I initially thought he'd gone through CT spawn and rotated all the way around behind from mm -hmm. window room. And I was just wondering to myself, does he actually have enough enough time to do that? Uh, that was uh, that was the main concern for Maniac as well. But Maniac also had he had a lot of gear. He had some smokes from flashes. Of course, you don't want to really use those nades. You don't want to not have your rifle in your hand. And we saw him miss an opportunity to pick off the man who made it into CT there. So just a little bit shaky there from Titan. And the same happens to them. I mean, it was definitely a closer round, but the result is the same. Immunity, they managed to trade back and forth with these rounds. It, James, <laughs> take it easy, take bro. Take it easy, man. <laughs> don't, don't be shooting your teammate in the back of the head. Don't get too excited here. That always happens to me on matchmaking. It's like you're getting pumped. You're managing, to, you're managing to put some rounds together on the board here versus Titan. Keep your cool. You're going to need to to close this map. Because right now you're still a long way off. Titan as well. We're still very much early on here. Just crossing the mid of the half. Our Apex tries to force the issue after a late flash. And he should have known that he was a bit too late there to make that work. Yeah, I think Titan knew they were a man down. They, w they were eager to try and return the frag and make sure that they even things out, but it's looking good so far for Team Immunity. They roughly do have control of this A bomb site. Kenny S is bleeding internally, but we know that 10 HP is plenty for a player of his quality. And there oh, it is. Can't believe he actually gets that shot and lives. Only 10 HP left on him. And RPK stepping into jungle now, hot on the heels of that one Team Immunity member. And that is actually going to be Rike. And he catches out Kenny. So. Now it begins. Sniper takes the fight and loses versus Maniac. RPK is there to watch Maniac's back, but it's still a two-on-two -two scenario, and they're caught in a crossfire right now, Titan. Not looking too healthy for him. The man in CT just trying to draw them out. That's Rika to find the shot. The spray comes in from RPK, but there it is. That's what happens when you have a man at your front, a man at your back. You take the fight that you have to with the man in CT, only to get shot from the man holding in pit. So another round on the board here, and that's two in a row now for Immunity. This is big. This is their big opportunity now to get some, some meaningful rounds on the board and actually have an impact. Yeah, strong crossfire coming out from Team Immunity. And again, it was down to the plant position as well. It allowed both of the terrorists to protect that bomb and made the final Titan player, made his life a living hell. And now they're only on pistols. Apex and Kenny going aggressive in apps, but Estillo is more than willing to take them on. There's the double here on this eco round, and there's the third. And unfortunately, not this time, Titan. The timing on that flash at the palace, that was perfection. And now Maniac, he does manage to just straight up fight, imagine, and win. But credit to Estillo there for checking into apartments to realize that there may be a third man lurking up there. That's incredible because you think you think he'd hear the first step and think, okay, well, that's the guy. I killed him. Don't have to worry about that. And he may just be on balcony watching into CT or jungle and just get shot in the side of the head by Kenny. But no, he goes in. Kenny gets flashed. It's just a perfect play there from Team Immunity to take over that A site. Granted, eco round from Titan, but now it's going to be a buy round from Titan. We have to see if they can stop the hemorrhage here. They need to stop from, from allowing Team Immunity to get past four rounds up to five or six. Yeah, team Immunity, they didn't smoke Window Room, but nonetheless, they managed to push out the CT hiding in there, but Imagine needs to be careful. Does he not see the silencer of existence there to the left? Kenny S elsewhere on the map with the AWP. Ostillo trying to be that lone ranger heading towards a B bomb site. And uh, now Sniper finds himself, well, he no longer finds himself, rather, in a uh, zero versus five situation. And that was... I saw some interesting looks on your face come out there, Semler. Tell us what's going through your head. I just, 
how one-sided these rounds are, where it just, I mean, it's either one team, it's like very close to Titan are fighting their way back into it, but if, if, if Immunity lose that entry frag, they just seem to try and press and get back that frag as quickly as possible. It's just that Titan are winning those duels in those situations, as we saw right there. The first one quickly followed by the second, and then the man tries to push ladder room, he gets picked off. It, it all just quickly falls apart for Team Immunity, so... When they lose that first man, they need to just keep calm and carry on, right? Not go uh, not go overboard trying to get that return. They did spot Kenny in the right side window, and the nades are going to go in on him. He's still here, though, with 26 HP. And in the meantime, Rick has picked off RPK. So they are bringing it back to a 4-on-4 four four here, and it's pretty even between the two teams. Only problem is, is that Immunity don't really have many nades to work with. They have a single smoke nade, which is like the real value nade. So where do they decide to go with it? Yeah, that smoke nade could prove crucial, especially if Immunity decide to go towards the A-bomb site. They've got Imagine on the flank, Apex going aggressive near Pit, but Ricky gets the headshot nonetheless, and now Titan, two men down, Imagine creeping all the way up behind the leader from Belgium. And you know what? He might be able to at least get a frag here, but that B bomb site wouldn't surprise me here if Existence and Kenny just run away. Kenny's just so low on HP. He's much better off saving that AWP, and the Aussies ain't even going to let him do that. And Team Immunity, this will mean that they'll at least be going into the second half with five rounds on the T side of Mirage. And as we know, five rounds is more than an acceptable scoreline on the T side on Mirage, especially up against a team like Titan. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Immunity showing that they've got the aim. And to win these kinds of fights as well, Apex, yet another attempt at pushing Pit. And Apex right now is only sitting on 6-2-6. Like, he's a, Apex is one of those players who is pretty momentum-based. He needs to get a strong start to really start ramping up, and he can ramp up quite high from there. But if he struggles at the beginning of a match, he tends to, it tends to take him quite some time to get his head back into the game. And we're kind of seeing this here with a couple of, you know, him trying to force the push when it was already, you know, like he's a second behind the flash. He's trying to force it anyway, right? And taking fights versus blind targets and losing them. You know, these sorts of things he can't really allow himself to do when his team are already behind like this. And then Kenny S comes in and just makes the CZ look like an AK. <laughs> Him and JW are very good at doing that. Uh, Kenny still favors the CZ. What's uh, the true master though of the CZ? And I'll say that true master CZ is actually RPK. Because he'll actually tap with that thing. Like he just uses it from across the half the map and gets headshots with it. It's obscene. When he shouldn't be able to do that, but RPK, I don't know, he finds a way. He also, he's also a guy who will tap with the MAC-10, so that just tells you something <laughs> about RPK. 1v1 tapping duel between Scream and uh, RPK. Make it happen, Semler, make it happen. Now that's a nice way to consistently get a smoke into window. I like that he lines it up. Sometimes you see players, you know, they just kind of like half-hassedly chuck out that smoke. Hmm. And, you know, you, you feel a little bit bad when you mess it up. I don't think, uh, I think you're past that now, however. Imagine you're all by your lonesome 1v4, and the bomb is controlled by Titan as well. So with 30 seconds left, it's looking like he's setting up shop in B-House, and he might actually just... No, he's going to make it back into T-Spawn, so he's not going to try and hold on to his AK. He does have some gear right now. So it could be an option for him to just try and... Yeah, just hang around here, and that's what he should be doing. So he's going to do it at... Oh, yeah. Richard's so happy he's got his Nandos. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason Rich comes to Gfinity, for the cheeky Nandos. To be fair, it's the reason. It's the only reason we all come to Gfinity. But no, honestly, the venue here is amazing. Um, Dude, comfy seats. Yeah, like you can stay and watch CS here all day because it's movie theater seats. So it's just comfort through and through. Nice room as well. But as far as the match is concerned, right now, it looks like Titan are going to be able to establish a little bit more control here. And Kenny has given up on the AWP. He's sticking with the AK. Three AK save there for Titan, two M4s, and just full gear, whereas Team Immunity now, 14th round, they're going for a bit of a mix. Imagine he has his AK that he saved from the last round, but the rest of them clearly trying to save some money for the last round of this half. So they are aiming for 9-6 at this point, unless they can build off of this, because Rick has already found Kenny S. That doesn't significantly weaken the defense on the B side, however. Two players still remain for Titan. So now Team Immunity, rather than rush through and try and force the issue, they're actually taking their time and making Titan sweat a little bit. Knowing, though, that Kenny S is the mid player, this could potentially allow Immunity to get control of that area, maybe sneak a few people towards window room, maybe sneak a person towards kitchen, but no, they are going to put the mass majority of their eggs in one basket. Ricky with a great headshot onto existence, but Maniac is still lurking. Great play from Maniac. Double comes in. He spotted another player on short, but RPK says, thank you very much. Me and Apex will more than happily deal with that incoming push. And Team Immunity now, like you said, Semler, they're on a save round in the last round. And it looks like they're going to have one player stuck on the Tech 9. But regardless, 
even if they lose mm. this round, I think five rounds is, is still very acceptable for them going into the second half, considering who they are and who their opponents are. Yeah, I think the sixth round is really like of utmost importance. They need to get it. They need to have some kind of a cushion because it's still Titan, and Titan now, like at least for the past several months, are a team that have just historically done well at picking up T rounds, more T rounds than they should. That so cushion you, helps you a lot as well if you lose the pistol. Yeah, that's that too is something that has to be considered. Anti rush nades going out here for Titan, and look at the tremendous amount of damage Delta Team Immunity right off the bat. Four of them are at half HP, and they haven't even seen anybody yet. Bomb has been planted. Bomb planted. And Titan, they know they've got to try and retake this bomb side, but Maniac wasn't spotted. He was trying to creep through, but James does get the headshot. Kenny is more than aware, but he looks away at the wrong moment. And now Existence and Kenny, they might as well go for this. It's the last round of the half. He gets one, but surely Team Immunity aren't going to throw this one away, or maybe they will. To existence with the hat trick. He's still got Imagine to try and deal with. He will pick up the AK-47. Oh my days, Existence with a phenomenal play with the auto sniper, but he's not going to have enough time. But regardless, that's definitely going to be around for the replay books. That was phenomenal. That's Existence right there. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what Headshot mod DM does for you. Like, Existence, that's all he does now. That's his form of practice. He'll just DM all day, and it's nothing but Headshot mod. He gets two frags, you know, no scope, but it's all good. Scar 20, just tap, tap, tap. Gets the job done, nearly does it. But Team Immunity played that so well. They only started sacking themselves once they realized he just wouldn't have time for the defuse. It would be nigh impossible for him to pick off the third man and actually pull off that round. So you might have you might have started wincing there a little bit for Immunity once they you know they lost the first guy and the second guy. But with that third man there, all he has to do is stand behind that pillar on short. And Team Immunity did exactly what they needed to do. So we're seeing some very smart play come out here from the Australians. It's a real pleasure to watch right now. Going into the second half now, however, we have wasted no time at all. 16th round, the second pistol round, and let's see what Titan have in store for us. Well, they have a, a push in store. Apex is going to drop Ricky on the steps. He's now stampeding towards CT spawn, but great play coming out from the Aussies. Those USPs and P2000s reigning supreme up against the Glocks of Titan. But hey, just how we saw Existence almost push uh, pull the clutch off, we still can't rule out Maniac. Hmm. Yeah, that was nothing but headshots, actually, for everybody. It's like just instant quad kill headshots from Team Immunity. And now Maniac going for the window. Quick footwork there, actually. Looks for that headshot, and he's going to get it. But he gets dropped down to 2 HP. So 2 HP, 45 seconds, walking into a crossfire here. That bomb has been dropped on the A site itself, unless he can hit just an incredible headshot here. It's such a difficult task here for Maniac. He's going to be, I mean, it's a, it's again, a nigh unlosable situation for immunity. He looks one way, he got shot from the other. Just so many angles for him to check and have to worry about with only 30 seconds left, just and so little HP there. The big thing though is you can't really account for it sometimes. The fact that team immunity right there just hit like four headshots in less than a second. Like how do, how do you, how do you, pr you can't predict that. That just happens. And it goes to show that they are an incredibly solid team on this map and They've definitely portrayed that base off of what we've seen so far. Looks like Kenny S is preparing for a smoke here. I believe that lands in round CT spawn. Mm -hmm. And existence there for jungle. So it is going to be an A take coming out with the Tech Nines. One scout in the hands of Maniac. And this is going to be tough, but let's see what they can do. Now they actually do set it up. The smoke goes down to block off T pit. They're going to get caught though again. Spray from James, and he gets a triple kill. And these aren't just armorless targets that he's going for right now. They had Kevlar Helmet, and he gets the job done. Existence comes back, he takes out a magic, but that is it. James, just a quad kill, completely obliterates Titan Force Pie. And now Titan are back to square one. They just spent everything in that last round. It's going to be another eco going into the 19th, unless they're truly wild. They didn't get a bomb plant to supplement their money, however, so... What do they do? I mean, Titan, it has to be like, yeah, Glocks. Glocks are P250s, and they don't even elect to, to go for P250s. Wow, I'm surprised. They, they do have a couple guys who can afford to pick up a P250 or two. But they're just going straight Glocks. Okay, they want to maximize their money. That is how bad their economy is at the moment. And like you said, when you don't get the plant on the pistol or the second round, unfortunately, you do have to pay the price quite literally. And Team Immunity taking a, leaf, uh, taking a page sorry, out of Titans, but going aggressive at mid and putting their foot down on the map. Good stuff to see. It, it shows that they are confident in how they're playing. They know right now at 9-8 that they can take on any team on this map. They're feeling good. Well, they're showing they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe right now with Titan at least. They and can't Titan. afford to step back and give Titan breathing space. 
You know that is true, and this is this is a you know a hallmark of other teams as well. You know, Nip have done it, VP do it as well. This used to be basically like VP and Navi. They loved to just like push aggro when their opponents are ecoing and just brutalize them. You know, kick them while they're down, right? Because there's no rules. You know, it's all about winning. So whatever you can do to get in your opponent's heads, you go for the ultra aggro. You just beat up on them. It's a feel good moment for you too, because you're just like, yo, man, patting them stats. You know, look at these kills, right? That, what guy didn't have Kevlar? That's not important. <laughs> still, still on the scoreboard. That's right. I'm at the top. And Kenny is going to be able to take out Imagine here. But inconsequential in the end. 9-9 the score. A hard eco from Titan and not really managing to accomplish anything at all. So you see Sniper there in the middle. The in-game lead, as I said earlier. He's really – I mean, he, he, he was trying to downplay it earlier when I was talking to him as well. He was just like, well, you know, I think – we'll see, right? He's not saying anything. But clearly he's done his homework on how Titan operate on this map because they were able to get up a decent number of T-rounds. And now CT, they're looking very good indeed. Rick is starting off. He wins the duel versus uh, Kenny and manages to get a leg onto RPK as well. <laughs> yeah, he does. And the nades are going to go down. They know how low both RPK and Apex are. James comes in with that good old FAMAS of his. But it's still three versus two. Maniac is still alive and kicking alongside Apex, but he knows now that the CTs are going to be up close and personal with him. And there's the nade. Blows Apex to smithereens. And Maniac in a one versus three to try and salvage the round. Once again, Maniac. And this is just the situation you're going to see Maniac in. And this is always a difficult one because he plays the Lurk role for Titan. So he's got a minute left. And this is why he's deciding to try and change it up a little bit. Trying to change up that position, come, come at it from a different angle, not be too predictable here. So still oh, right now, he is already realizing it. He's checking that smoke, so it's cleared up on T-Spawn, and now he's starting to look towards T-Spawn. So he's doing the right thing. Maniac is working his way through B apartments, but it still shouldn't get caught off guard by this play. It's just so difficult for Maniac sometimes because he plays that Lurk role, and if the rest of his teammates are dead, he's left in a 1v2, 1v3. It's just like, what, what do you do, right? He, he's, he's taken the first step, but he took a lot of damage in that exchange as well, so he's down to 29 HP, and now it's still a spots him. So now the game is up. He's literally got 20 seconds to get this bomb, get this kill, and get onto a bomb site. It will allow his teammate and Ricky to uh, pre-fire that shot with his AWP. And I'll tell you what, Ricky doesn't miss them shots. 10-9, who would have thought it? The Aussies are in front here up against Titan. And, well, 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 it could very well become 11-9 here because of the Titan buy. We've got three players with armor. Only Existence investing in a smoke, so no surprise that it does look like they are going to be trying to perhaps gamble on this B-bomb site. They could wait it around a little bit. There we go. There's a smoke. That's probably going to try and potentially be a fake, but Ustillo, again, going aggressive. He knows that Titan are an eco. He oh. wants to face, take them on face-to-face. -face. Molotov goes down, and Titan here, they've got to have a plan B that they've got to fall back to. That was such a sick short smoke, though. That was really cool. Unfortunately, they can't actually do anything about it, Titan. <laughs> they just invested all their nades into going on to B site, and they get stopped cold. And look at this. Team Immunity has such a good bead on the state of the economy for Titan that you have Sniper, he's even going for a Bison in this round. He's just like, I'm gonna farm me some money. I'm gonna make me some money, 600 bucks a kill. That's right, come to me. <laughs> uh, he, wants to, he wants to, I mean, that's the perfect call. That's, and it's such a low investment as well. Two kills and he makes his money back, so he's perfectly fine with doing this. No? Well, Ricky gonna miss that shot, but Titan have shown themselves. Not sure if they've spotted the bomb yet. That's up on Maniac in A Apartments in Palace. The Titan right now are looking to come at this like a three-pronged assault. Straight up connector, up through pit, up through apartments, and it's just not working for them at all. Sniper gets his first kill with the Bison. And that will leave Apex and Existence all alone. Apex with one, but the Aussies here showing a little bit too much flesh. It's Apex all by himself. Uh, he was so close to dropping a Stillo there on the upper, on the larger A-bomb site, but it just wasn't meant to be. And now, this is where Titan really need to step it up. Kenny S has the big magical, or his big magic stick in his mm -hmm. hands. This is where Titan are going to be relying heavily on him to pull off those peaks at mid, maybe go towards a B-bomb site, try and pick off the uh, CT jumping in and around the van, and get the entry frags to allow Apex and RPK to work the rest of their magic. And this is very scary now, because now look at this. Immunity are starting to push around on mid. They've got control of underpass once again. They've been very thorough about checking this one avenue into mid. And now the nade's up the top. Nobody holding close here for Titan, however, but a smoke goes down. This is just buying time, basically. This is making him sweat. And it also sets it up for Ricky to peek into underpass, but he's not going to get the kill this time around, and he gets chased away, leaving him on 34 HP. So they get some info as to where one of the Titan players are. Great headshot from Maniac picking off Sniper. That is not easy to do. 
split second reactions as well. I thought it was going to be Kenny who'd get the entry, but Apex, we know he is another of the Titan entry fraggers, but well, 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 Ostello is going to put his name on that kill. And here we go, Titan falling back to plan B. Existence adamant on executing this. He definitely know where this CT's hiding. He will have heard the bullets coming. Kenny S and RPK are rotating round, but I'll tell you what, they're not rotating round to Existence. They still have their hearts set on B. Yeah, and Estilla's already rotated back onto this B site. Smart call there. The, they realized that they were over-rotating Team Immunity. They realized that they haven't seen the bomb. They haven't seen anybody else. There's the flash, and Estilla now, he could be in a prime spot to pick them off. Free kill there onto RPK. He's got the pop flash as well, so this is going to slow things down. Nearly flashes himself. Gets right up under him. Nearly gets the kill onto Kenny. So close. But it leaves Existence and Kenny so low on HP. Ten seconds left, and no bomb plant. Ricket finds the kill onto Existence, and Imagine will take out Kenny before that bomb can get planted. This is just, I mean, we were kind of throwing it out there that Titan can give rounds to the underdog, mm. but for them to basically allow Team Immunity to get so far ahead in the lead right now, this is very scary. I mean, three rounds separating them, enough of a bank on Immunity to buy again if they were to lose a round. Right now, Team Immunity are right where they need to be. They're so close to breaking Titan. Thing is, Estillo was so low on HP on B as well. Estillo got one frag, and then Apex, perhaps instead of waiting for the rest of his teammates to come round so that they could push that B bomb site together, he was complacent. He dropped down, he got caught in midair, and not only did Estillo kill uh, Apex, but it also meant Estillo was alive to get a kill later on. And talking about kills, Ricky gets the opener. Apex, however, returning it, and Imagine could find himself on the scoreboard here if he can <laughs> demolish Outplayed. Apex, and he does. Great play from Immunity. Uh, just straight up. It's not every day that you outplay. Just flat out outplay Apex. Uh, he just got drawn out there. Imagine made that look easy. Double kill for Imagine. Maniac walks the top mid though. And again, it's Maniac who's making this a, a halfway decent round for Titan because he picks it up. So now three kills dealt here by Titan. Two players remain. So Team Immunity already in the next round. They're going to be spending quite a bit of money. But Maniac, this is probably his best shot yet because now he's actually got half HP. Every time he's been in these situations before, he's been very low. And that was a key frag on Imagine. So now, Sniper. Oh, he hears it. He knows. Free kill. Perfect timing there from Sniper to push out of B apartments. Maniac had no way of knowing where that last man was. He was, he was obviously assuming he was going to be over on the A site somewhere. So just sick play by Sniper and a real rough call there for uh, Maniac. Not only did he have half HP, but he had a heck of a load of nades to work with as well. Which yeah. obviously he could have used in his favor. But... We have a timeout, and do you think this is tactical from yes. Existence and Co? This is because they didn't get the bomb plant, and you can see the result of that right now. They're all full. I mean, right now they're they're maxed out on bo on loss bonus, so they're all getting 3,400 around, right? Mm -hmm. But they didn't get that bonus 800 dollars that each player would have got if they'd planted the bomb and lost. So you can see the impact that that has. Now you're in this awkward, you know, Existence. Does he just get AK armor because that's all he can get if he gets hel if a helmet, right? He won't have he won't he can't afford nades. They're in this situation where it's like they go Galil Kevlar helmet just to get nades. Do they go Tech 9 by with nades? Or do they eat the round of eco and decide what they're going to do in the next round? Titan have done this in the past, and they are actually the team that started with these kinds of plays as well, where in these kind of hard eco situations, rather than attempt to win the round, they would literally run around in their TNT spawn and use that as a timeout because there weren't timeouts like this. It wasn't written into the rules where you could take a timeout of map for teams. So Titan were the first team to really start basically using Rico rounds as timeouts. They would just sit there and discuss, and nearly every time they did that, they had a plan, they executed, and they got back into the game. So we'll see if uh, you know history repeats itself and they manage to pull it off again here. But again, the fact that Titan have so low HP, granted it's the T side of Mirage, but they came into the second half with nine rounds. They yet to get one round on this T side. And not only have they yet to get one round, but I can't remember the last time they actually planted the bomb. And you mentioned the extra $800 for when you lose the round after planting the bomb. That can be so crucial because $800 does so much for you in CS. And... Well, it's a, full, it's a near full set of nades, right? Exactly. Like, just add 800 to each of the Titan players here, and it would be a completely different ball game uh, Maniac, going into this round. Yeah, Maniac could go so far as, well, it wouldn't be Maniac. You would kind of hope that it was Kenny, right, who would have the money for a glass cannon AWP, at mm -hmm. least in Titan's case, right? But uh, Maniac could potentially go for a glass cannon if you wanted it to. I mean, basically, it's, a, it's, it's $300 per HE and per smoke, and it's $200 for a flash. So if you have the $800, bam, you get one of each. Or you can get creative and go for a Molotov, which costs 400 but then you're starting to play around a little bit. Some players will do that, but it looks like we're going to have a halfway situation here from Titan, actually. So they're going halvesies. They're sticking a toe into the pool right now to test the water Kyanite. They're going to see if, they, you know, if they're going to plunge in or not. Because if they can, they can do some damage and they can even perhaps outright win this round with the smoke round, 
And that's what they're banking on. But then they're still kind of like hedging their bets saying, well, if we lose this, it's not the end of the world. We'll have enough money to buy in the next one. Exactly. And of course, Team Immunity now looking to prevent this A defense and the rotations are quick to come in. Kenny S as uh, we're used to seeing is the man with the entry. Apex as well with that Tech 9. James is literally millimeters away from one of the Titan players. Maniac with a headshot. And at the moment, Team Immunity find themselves in one heck of a tricky situation. Ricky not in an ideal position with this AWP, especially if he gets killed now. Wow, he actually gets that shot. But he's now in a 1v2. And Kenny is there with the M4 that he's robbed off a corpse. He's going to be able to swap out for a free AWP as well. That's a huge save there for Titan. But they actually managed to pull it off. And Team Immunity right there, I think they might have been... Well, it comes down to the straight shots. And of course, you know, Kenny and Apex are two of the best Tech 9 players in the world. Those guys just wreck house. It doesn't matter if you're halfway across the map or right up close to them. If you give them the shot, they can get the kill with those guns. So the fact that Kenny leads the charge, picks up that entry frag, Immunity just weren't expecting the all-out desperate aggression coming out from Titan in that round because they were pushing through smoke everywhere. Apex even, you know, jumping out of stairs, pushing through smoke. It seems like Immunity were expecting a little bit more sober play from Titan, and that just, that just caught them off. Yeah, Immunity perhaps should have sat back a little bit more, keep their distance a little bit. Obviously, they were M4s, and obviously Ricky's AWP as well up against the pistols. And that's the problem with the Tech 9 and the P250s, of course. When it's close enough, it does become a one-shot headshot. And then Team Immunity, unfortunately, paid the price for their errors. Sniper has been spotted here in jungle. And, yeah, he falls to his death. And we should see Titan on 11 rounds. Unless, imagine, has uh, something else up his sleeve. This is what I'm talking about with Apex, though. Imagine gets another kill onto RPK. Still two kills, that's a lot. I mean, we're starting to get towards the end here, but that's money that our Titan do not want to spend, especially versus an eco round like that. To allow that man to get two kills is a huge bumble. But, like, the fact that Apex up close like that, he's going to be kicking himself. Those are frags that Apex should be getting, just like his eyes closed. He should just be able to walk up there and put a bullet through that guy. And him failing that spray, that's, that's incredibly frustrating right now for him on a personal level. So that might be weighing on him a little bit. Kenny just says, you know, Ricky, you can't nap now, mate. You got to be on your toes when you're going to play against me. Well, that was like Kenny S of old. And let's see, Maniac has played incredibly well recently, and he's holding this angle. The question at hand is, does he know Sniper's there? He definitely will. He heard Sniper fire off the bullets, and Team Immunity, they could very well find themselves going into an eco come the next round. Imagine looking to drop existence. There is the frag, but that bomb is heading ever so closer towards the B-bomb site. And it will get planted now. Smoke should he be clearing here in a moment's time for James. And Imagine's already worked his way into Kitchen. Triangle of Doom is set up now for Titan. And wow, what a shot. Takes out RPK before he can get into safety behind the vans. Now we're into a two-on-two. -two. This has become feasible. But as I say that, Kenny picks off James. That's one of the pincers that's been basically just snapped off. And Kenny had to meet there too. And how, do you, how do you pinch a bombsite if you only have one pincer? <laughs> Doesn't work. You know, you can't pinch anymore. You, only, you can only poke. So, there you have it, guys. Imagine he's going to have to back off, and it's just not going to be good enough here for Team Immunity. The money, they, they're going to be in shambles here. So, that's what we're talking about. Titan, they take, a, they take a pause. They're one of the few teams, actually, who take these pauses as well, because every team has that in the tournament. Every team can, can take a pause at any moment and just say, okay, you know, you get it once, but you can, when things start to go south for you, you can stop the game, slow down the pace. If you have a coach, you go over it with him, you figure out what's not, what's not working, and you start making changes. Titan, they take the pause, and since then, it's just it's looked like nothing but good for them. They've actually turned it around completely. And team Immunity definitely need to try and turn this one around. They've only got pistols. Maniac coming in. Great spray from him. Obviously, only up against pistols. And like you said, Semler, that pause has honestly done Titan a huge world of good. And they are going to tie it up at 13 all. And it would be incredible if they managed to go on to win the map from this point onwards. RPK catches out Sniper. And I think Estilla heard him, but he realizes just before existence comes, comes around that corner. It's not going to be good enough, though. Four players surviving for Titan. 13-13 the score now. Titan have tied it up. So they gave a lot of room to Immunity. Immunity got into the lead, but slowly but surely that lead has been squandered. And Titan are now back in the run. They're back in the mix. And this is a key round right here because look at the state of the money. Titan, rich. Fat cats on their side of the map. Whereas Immunity, broke. So this is, this is the huge round right here because if Titan win this, Immunity are going to be in an awkward force buy situation to keep them off of map point. So this is, this is going to be the culmination of it all right here.
got a heck of a load of Titan players making their way up under pass. And Ostello, meanwhile, is in a great position to catch them out. But the main issue here for Ostello is a player who is at top of mid. And he hasn't spotted Apex going into connector here. And in fact, Sniper is going to get killed. Kenny S with the AWP. James now the last line of defense. And I think Team Immunity are going to be fuming with Astillo, who's meant to be, have been watching connector from short. And that was, of course, how Titan got their entries onto the bomb site. And Ricky, we expect him to do better from there. Oh, it's so good. He nearly hits those shots. Ricky, there's the Molotovs going down. He gets the leg shot onto RPK. Missed target, though. He's going to get saved by James. Or Titan really throwing this away. RPK, he's dead. Existence is the only man left. What happened? Titan literally fed themselves into the blender. Oh, no. This is a this is, There you go. Now he gets spotted out. Great shot there by Existence. He does get the spray down on Imagine. But he's got 25 seconds. He has to go at a dead run, and he makes the right call. Immunity over rotate. And this B bomb, I mean, the A bomb site is open. It was on B bomb site that both remaining Team Immunity players were playing. Yeah, so even if Existence falls, he will still get that extra bomb bonus. But he's got an angry Ricky and an angry James heading towards him. There's the first from Existence. Great play. He's going to fall back towards CT spawn. The question at hand is, is James going to hold on to this? He isn't, and he does not have a defuse kit. But Existence heard the defuse, thought it was... Legit, and James, out of the blue, just about salvaging that round for Team Immunity that, to be honest, Semler, Immunity had no right to put their name on. Oh, man, that was in there. Ex existing, 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 listen like, to me. Please, whatever happened there, it never happens again. <laughs> when one opper buys enough time for a rifle to rotate in as well, but just through smokes, through, through Molotovs, both offers missing the shot as well, point blank right there. I mean, Rickett just did so much work on Cat. James with the rotate in, just both of them just doing fantastic work there for Team Immunity. What a play. Imagine taking a lot of damage there from that HE, but from that Molotov, but then he gets the double spray, nearly. RPK dropped down to half HP and Apex this time does not let him live. Double entry frag for Apex, and when it counts, he steps up. Rickett will take out Maniac though, so we're back into a three on three, but Apex has at least given them a shot at getting onto this site. There is a great smoke to prevent Ricky. They probably knew he was going to be lurking in and around that area. Bomb does go down, and Immunity had a chance to stop that Semler. Stillo, he misses the jump. He had it right there. If he doesn't miss that jump, he stops that bomb. And now Apex walks in, gets another kill. That's three for him. Ricky doesn't let him escape, however, and we're now into a one-on-two scenario. RPK, though, locks on like a machine, and he's not going to clutch it. Stillo will win from <laughs> CT. And this is, at, oh, what? This is it. They still have money, though, on Titan's side. They're going to be able to buy, but their backs are to the wall now. Can Immunity close out this map? What an upset. Is it too early to call Titanfall yet? Uh, no, it's, no, no, no. It's, uh, not until 16 rounds, right? <laughs> or 19, or, you know, right? We got we to gotta go there, but... Well, we all know how much character this Titan side has. Some very strong personalities in it, and I'm sure... They won't have thrown in the towel just yet. But look, Team Immunity, the confidence is flowing through their blood at the moment. Going aggressive. There's the pop flash. Can James get an entry? He can't. But Team Immunity, they've got full mid control here. Yeah, and you see Titan trying to rotate around onto the extremities. They've got that man coming back. That's Apex. He's going to work his way back over to that A side. He's got a smoke equipped. And so now it seems like Titan, they want to just go for... They're going to go back for something tried and true. And this may be them, you know, going over a strat that they've practiced, that now they have the gear for. They all have the nades necessary. And with four players gathered up on this A site, a fifth man, no, that's Maniac, who's just going to go and lurk around in B apartments. That's what he needs to be doing. But they're waiting for these smokes. They've got plenty of time here, Titan. They can pace themselves. They're waiting for the smoke to clear in Palace. And there we go. 50 seconds left, and the push begins. Smoke's going down, cutting off steps, cutting off CT spawn, and cutting off jungle. In fact, there isn't one on CT spawn, but they have no idea that Imagine has been forgotten underneath apps, and he's in a great position to deal a heck of a load of damage. He will hear the bomb going down. Estillo's going to take the gamble and run through that smoke, and here we go. The Aussie's on the retake. Kenny S with a headshot. Talking about headshots, Existence says, anything you can do, Kenny, I can do better. And Titan, like you said, Semler, they went back to basics. They came out with the A take, with the A set piece. And uh, my word, did they make it work? And Team Immunity, this very well could end up going to overtime. Oh, yeah, it's looking like it. I mean, right now, you have Immunity. They're having to force up with pistols. They're one shot, basically, at closing this out perfectly. Escapes them. 
And that was just a thing of beauty there by Titan. Just everybody knowing exactly what they had to do. Again, Apex pushing onto stairs through the smoke, just getting in their face. And the fact that there's a man in CT, the fact that there's a man in Shadow, that's not important to Titan, right? Because they've smoked them off, and they're treating those smokes like walls. They're just like, mm. you know what? This is Blitzkrieg. We We're just going to leave those guys it. to dry on the vine while we clean up the rest of their teammates, and then it'll be easy work from there, right? Picking them off one at a time. It, that's exactly how that smoke round is supposed to work for Titan. It couldn't get any better or cleaner. And now they've just they've basic they've basically got this round in the back at this point. It's a force buy. They have a single nade left on Team Immunity, but the rest of them are all on pistols. I mean, it's so far to say it's like it's gone so far as to say like USP. Well, now five seven sniper finds a five seven, but he had USP before. That's how broke they were. And James really wishes he had something more effective than a deagle there. So unfortunate, the deagle can potentially be such a powerful weapon, but Apex does lose that AK-47, but it's not going to matter, or is it? Kenny S comes in with a double from Palace. Ricky, however, is sneaking behind the French side. Existence the man to pick up that bomb. And the problem here, the CTs, they're, they're, they're quite far apart from each other. Ricky, headshot onto Existence, and surely Team Immunity aren't going to win this round and pull it out. From the hands of Titan, 18 seconds, bomb still on the floor, Maniac goes for it, Sniper pushed in, but he should have pushed in when Ricky pushed in as well, he picks up an AK-47, there is the headshot, one versus one, it's all down to the king now, that is Kenny S to take Titan to overtime, and overtime is exactly where we're heading, what a map so far Semler. That is basically everything we were hoping for. The, the tip for tat, the back and forth, the fact that Titan do not just stomp out immunity. So once again, Titan are still cursed by these demons. They haven't, <laughs> they haven't squashed them yet. They haven't figured it out. And this is something that we, we thought that we saw them get over. And this is a team that is capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best. They make fanatic sweat bullets whenever they <laughs> run into them. Pronax does not want to play Titan because Titan just have the secret to beating them. And yet, still, Titan will end up in these situations where versus a massively, I mean, I'll just say underdog team, Titan allow it to go to overtime on a map that they should be dominant on. It's really, I mean, it's quite shocking, really, to see the, the other side. Immunity also, when they were given the opportunity, they stepped up. They could have closed the game. They had one round there at the end where they could have closed it, but they weren't quite able to, and we now end up in overtime. So now we get to see exactly how things are going to shape up. Hey, everybody. So... I mean, your first impression so far, Kai and I, because you were quite excited to see this match as well. And with uh, once we found out that Immunity were going to be on Mirage, it seemed like you know your your day had been made. <laughs> well, Immunity is sniper someone I talk to quite often, and uh, I know how good of a team they are on Mirage. I've watched some of their Aussie games as well in the Aussie leagues, and they do love their Mirage. And the thing is, obviously, we know Titan is such a solid team on Mirage, but I just you know when you have a gut feeling that a team are going to do well, mm -hmm. I thought they did so well at Face It, even though they did sort of get wrecked. Yes. By NIP. But the fact that if you check the online results in the uh, Oceana region, uh, this team in Team Immunity have actually been topping the scoreboards. They've even done better than Vox, mm -hmm. possibly because Vox have gone through a bit of a tough period right now, obviously with Top Gun going out. But no, they've I picked just had up, that yeah. good feeling they were going to do well, and they did. Well, the, like one thing that we need to note here as well is that this is an immunity without their without their yams. You know, they need mm. to get their veg. <laughs> and well, you know, their their veg has been given away to another team uh -huh. because now Yam is playing for Vox, and well, you know, Immunity have been have brought in a Stillo to fill the ranks. So we're talking about two teams from Australia that have actually gone through recent roster changes and are having to play up to a level that uh, they they just don't really experience on home turf. I mean, Europe is where the best teams are, the best teams in the world flab out. There's no competition. We all saw what happened to the North American team Liquid earlier versus NIP. I mean, it was outright destruction. Don't remind us. Why not? Right? <laughs> which is really which goes to show just how interesting it is. The fact that Australia now, a team that, you know, many would say Vox is the superior team. Immunity here are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with, you know, still one of Europe's best, Titan. This is fantastic right here. This is the first map in this best of two as well. So there's plenty of opportunity more for Team Immunity to wreck house. But it looks like it's going to be MR3. So it's going to be the first team to 19 rounds here to pick up this map. We'll see who gets there first. Titan going to stay on the, C on the T side, rather, in Immunity. They continue oh. with the push. And there's the Lurk. And the man we just mentioned, still is going to start off strong here for Immunity. Yeah, the man getting the transfer over from Streamline gets the first frag of overtime for Immunity, but there is the other entry fragger for the French side, returning it onto that very same man as Maniac lurks around outside of B. Apex still at mid with control, but Ricky says, you know what, guys? I'm going to make sure that on this CT side, we're the guys uh, who are miles in front. 
definitely got the shots in. I mean, he's got that Scar 20. This is like full... I mean, this is full Olaf, Apex, whatever. Existence favors the Scar 20 in this position as well. I mean, it's just nastiness. Scar 20. This is one of the most powerful angles you can hold with this gun. Because if they come down, if they come, if even if you're smoked off in CT, so long as you have the angle correct on on T pit, the damage you can do just by holding down mouse one as they try and run out, it's tremendous. It's very scary. But first, you have to hit the shots, and that time it's not going to happen. James really struggling. RPK gets both kills, but really, James needed to hit those shots. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. He was in a sublime position to capitalize, and he didn't. But the good news for Sniper and Co is how low both Apex and RPK are, and Sniper did spot out RPK in Palace, but Apex says, you know what, guys? We're gonna put our name on this round instead, and Team Immunity, they had the man advantage twice there, but I honestly mm. think James did let them down on the A-bomb site with the auto sniper. Yeah. He, if he had hit those shots, Titan would have been brought down to only one man, and it would have been three versus one. Titan would have been shredded. I think he ate a couple of flash nades, but still, when he when given the opportunity like that, especially the man just standing on balcony, you need to you need to hit those shots. You cannot afford to miss those. He so, had time to readjust for the man on balcony. Yeah, that was, a, that was just a bit of a shock there. And Titan are off to a terrific start here. And we're going to see the impact that this is going to have because now they're off to a good start in this round as well. The, the fact that Team Immunity lose the first round of this uh, first half of overtime means that their economy is, in the th is, is being very, I mean, is, is threatened right now. They don't have much money. They spent a lot of their money going for SCAR 20s for AWPs in the first round. You start with 10,000, so they're going to be very limited. And if they lose this round, they're going to be in a force buy scenario. And look at this. This is oh, almost comical. Oh, oh. Cue the what? Benny Hill he music. Spied him. He actually looked at him. No. He... Didn't really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He saw him in the top right corner in existence. And James have just... No, oh, no. This my is... God. They've walked past each other. Kenny S with the kill on to imagine. But Team Immunity right now are probably completely baffled. And they think that an A-take won't come in. But you know what? It is. And it's that same man, James, who's thinking to himself, what in the name of God just happened? And they hear him stepping as well. So they know exactly where he is. They know exactly that he's in mid, that he's going to be coming through a connector. I mean, smoke went up in CT, but th at this point, it should be an easy kill for the man holding in jungle if he wants to take the fight. What does he do, James? He's in a 1v4 now. The man in sandwich as well, so existence is ready, holding close, and it's almost a situation where James, he's now kind of caught in a corner. He pro he's probably thinking, well, you know, I wouldn't mind saving my gun right now if I could. Are you guys going to be gents and let me, uh, let me walk off? The issue I don't is think so. him pushing through T spawn. He probably even called to the rest of his teammates that there's nothing really outside A, that Get it's not going to be an A take, but he's going for this bit. <laughs> no, he's not going to have enough time. And I think that this is going to be a round similar that James will probably want to forget. I, he's going to watch the demo later and just kick <laughs> just himself. Just pop. Kick himself. Because if he sees him out of the corner of the screen like that, doesn't it show up on the radar as well? I mean, that man was carrying the bomb. I don't know. I think I saw the Titan player. Unless it was I when the camera so sort of flew and switched. Perhaps. That could, that could yeah. possibly have happened as well, actually. Maybe we were seeing things. I don't know. But it, <laughs> seems, it seemed like it. But still, he's going to watch the demo later and just kick himself for, for how that played out there. That is unfortunate. And now Sniper trying to make use of the jump scout. And he gets nailed down to 5 HP right off the bat. Maniac is not playing around right now. Although RPK is going to fall to Imagine. That's up in A apartment, so I like the aggression from Team Immunity. Gives them a gun to work with. The only problem is, is that Maniac is single-handedly clearing out the B site. Kenny's going to pick up a man in Connector, but this is still advantage Titan. Apex in Delpan. Free kill for him on James. And the last man alive here is going to be Imagine with an AK. And easy work there. Apex this time around will hit the headshot, and we will be ending the first half of overtime at 18 rounds. Team Immunity just not able to bounce back after the first round there. So... MR3, round number four coming up. What's your yeah. take on MR3 versus MR5, just um, quickly? Well, MR3 is, is rough. It's almost like I want to make an argument for MR3 with 16K, just so you, you have actual three solid buy rounds. Even if the CT side lose the first round, then they can afford to buy again. Some players think that it's better to have the economy, you know, that the, you know managing the economy should be a part of it. And you should get rewarded for picking up two, uh, two rounds. Yeah, but it's just like... That. <laughs> well, I think, you know, you're, you're, you're picking up two rounds. That's the equivalent of, like, ten rounds in regular time. I don't think you should be gifted the third round for free. Fair enough. So, you know, that's, it's like... Again, it's I contrast in opinions. Right? You know, it's, it's just the thing. It's a matter of opinion at the end of the day. MR3 with 16K, I think, just makes for more interesting games. But uh, really, at the end, all be-all is MR5. And the end, all be-all is also Apex getting an entry frag here. So it's definitely not going Team Immunity's way in this round. And although, if Kenny takes a little bit of a time there. He tries to rescope, and th this is also like Kenny still adjusting for the speed. Scoped up, probably still feeling pretty sluggish. 
Yeah, the Orp nerf, of course. Kenny hasn't quite been the same ever since, nope. but we're not going to put the blame on that entirely. But let's see whether it's going to be a Titan round or an immunity round. That's a great start from Ostillo. They only have one more person to deal with on the A bomb site here. And that man was Apex, and he slams the floor as he gets nailed in the head. And here, Existence and Maniac, four versus two. They could very well save these weapons, Semler, because of the reasons we, funnily enough, mentioned at the start of the round. Bomb has been planted. Maniac, yeah, I mean, th that's exactly it. They're going to have to back off. They can't even make an attempt. And they shouldn't even be challenging. They should be holding on to these two guns and doing the best they can to stay alive. And honestly, immunity right now, once they realize that this isn't happening, they should be out hunting. Right? They should leave one man behind on the site to prevent, you know, a ninja attempt. But they should be canvassing this, bot this map right now, trying to find the remaining two Titan members. Because if they can get rid of these guns, it would be a huge win. Could set up for that second round of overtime, perhaps. Existence to pick up with Stillo. He gets the second one as well. Existence just too solid right now. And does he actually give the target? He sh absolutely should not be. James even throws away. It goes so far. Yeah, he has the AK now, and he's not going to be able to find any targets. Very well done there by Titan. Two key frags coming in for existence, keeping some of him alive, and they managed to have two guns to work with in this round. One more round is all Titan need. And uh, money's tight, but if they win this one, who cares? They'll have done it. They've hoofed and puffed. And are the Aussies going to crumble by the looks of things? It very well may occur. Ricky getting shot in the face with that AWP. He has to fall back. That's probably the right decision. They've got to regroup now immunity. Try to keep their heads in the game. And let's see where they go from here. There's the smoke onto window room. That was such a hard shot to hit there for Ricky, but also, I mean, equally well done there by Apex. Well, now, what do Team Immunity decide to do? They've got the man on RPK. I mean, RPK now, he's, he knows that somebody's lurking around in mid. And they know this, they're already throwing down the Molotovs, but this, they still have smokes to back these Molotovs up. So we're going into a minute, and Titans still have three smokes to work with, with you know plenty of flashes. So it's going to be tough when Team Immunity decide to push onto a site, and it's looking like it's going to shape up for an A play here. Immunity, they still have two smokes and a Molotov to play with, so... Might just be jungle and CT, and then cross your fingers, hope that you can keep the guy off electric from taking your face off. Titan. They had two players in CT spawn. They could have used that to their advantage, but it looks like that this chapter might not even, or rather this story might not even reach that chapter. Oh, will it? James and Imagine coming in with the AK. James with his second. Three versus two. RPK and Maniac now. The last two counter-terrorists. They'll know how low on HP Ricky is. I think they should go for this. It looks like that they want to go for this. Nade going out onto the bomb site, And let's see where the Titan can do it. It's uh, so difficult now, though. They've got a man in Palace, a man in Shadow, and a man in Pit. I mean, how do you root them out of here? Molotov is a good start, but Maniac, he doesn't watch. He gets picked out of the midair, and RPK now trying to do the best that he can to find these shots, but it's not meant to be. He hits a sick headshot onto his Stillo. But as far as winning the round is concerned, he's still got a long way ahead of him. He spots the man in Palace, gets caught in the crossfire. And Rika and James, well, they split the man between them. So, sixth round now. Sixth round, we're going the distance. This is it, because Titan now, they're going for the force. And Maniac, he's a generous, he's generous right there. He actually drops a FAMAS for his teammate. Instead of going for an op or something of the sort, perhaps handing that off to Kenny, Kenny just had enough to get a FAMAS as well. So they actually get a pretty decent buy, all things considered, Titan. And this is off of them holding on to those two rifles from that one round, having a little bit more breathing room, basically. What do you think about existence, instead of playing the glass FAMAS, if you will, giving it to RPK, who is the player with the armor helmet. I wouldn't disagree with that at all. But, you know, you can go for a power play as well. Just like that, Apex tries to get Flash through top and he runs right into Imagine, who is more than happy to get the shot and give his team a big advantage now going into this round because look at the nade count for Titan. They have guns, but it's literally going to come down to positioning now and being able to land the shots when it comes to it. Yeah, they've got to wait for Team Immunity to head towards them. And the, this is the issue, Maniac... He has got that M4, but no nades. He doesn't have a Molotov to slow down immunity should they head his way. He doesn't have a defensive smoke to put down, but Kenny S, he's hungry to... Mm. <laughs> he doesn't want this to go to a second overtime. There's the frag through connector. Immunity, by the looks of things, are going to be looking to execute here onto the B bomb site. but Maniac has changed position, and, well... Immunity could even get a plant here. That Maniac here, is this, should, this should actually set up for an just for a retake scenario. Mm. Because right now, Maniac realizes he's a step, too, he's a step far, too far behind, basically. Existence spots it out. 
The jump over the smoke it denies the plant, and this changes everything. Now imagine trying to change up the position, trying to bait them out into the open. Existence once again going for the jump, trying to get the info. Point blank takes the fight, and now Titan will go ahead and win this first map. 1917. They had to make it close. But you have to give it to Titan at the end there. Maniac holding on short, realizing he missed his shot to get on.